Hey you guys, so today I just wanted to show you guys how to cover up pimples, blemishes, and zits, and all those 3D type of things. Um, I just wanted to start off by saying this is not expert advice, but this is what I do to cover up my blemishes. Of course, at all times, you want to make sure your hands are clean and your fingers are clean when you are using um, your fingers to apply the makeup. If you have a zit, you want to make sure that you take care of it well and um, once the pimples and zits and blemishes starts to grow or become noticeable, you want to make sure you don't mess with them. So today I'm going to use these two um, concealers. This is my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC30. Sometimes this is a little bit too dark for me so I mix it with this Dream Lumi Lighting Concealer um, by Maybelline. And I put it in this little container right here to mix it together very well. But you definitely don't have to mix these products be as long as you have the right shade. This is just a different shade because it depends on my the seasonal and you know how it's summer it's a little bit darker than it's supposed to be but I haven't got my tan so any hoosies before you apply your concealer you want to make sure that your pimples and you know zits and blemish is not flaky and there's no dry skin around it but if your skin is dry and flaky around that area you want to make sure you apply a coconut oil moisturizer and usually those help heal your pimples and zits um, and they're not like other moisturizers but today I am not using any of that because I don't have any on hand I am going to use my zap zit that has benzoyl peroxide it's, it's a um, kind of gel and I'm gonna use this only a small amount so there's no flaky skins and your concealer product will go on smoothly and blend smoothly and cover like how it is supposed to cover so those are my first few tricks the other one is to make sure you blend in a um, 3D type of way where you go into a circular motion and get all around your little, you know, zit, not just on the top area and then you have like this whole other around it, it's still showing and that's not what you want. You want to cover your whole blemish so it's not noticeable. Like I have a blemish right now, but right now you don't see it and you're like, oh my god, her face is flawless, kind of. But okay, um, my next tip is to apply a bright lipstick, bright um, eyeshadow, and you know, have like something to distract your pimples away from. I know you guys have been looking at this color like this whole time and you didn't even notice like any of my blemishes, but I will definitely show you in this, in this um, next few seconds. And if anybody asks, this is... This lipstick is a CoverGirl lipstick. It looks like this, and it is in the color 360 Euphoria. Yes, this is how you get a flawless look, so I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you, and um, yeah, we're gonna start off by using this concealer right here that I just mixed together. I got this much right here. You're gonna dab a little bit of this on that area and then you're gonna use your other finger to go in a circular circular motion like this I'm gonna let the first layer dry first and then we're gonna add on a little a second layer but um, a little a light layer so it doesn't get too cakey or anything like that. Okay, here we go again. So now it's pretty it's covered up pretty well. But now I'm going to set it with powder just to make sure none of this concealer goes anywhere for the whole night, the whole day, and um, yeah. I am using the MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC35. That, that is what color I am in um, at the moment. So we are going to take a light fluffy brush like this right here. And then take a little bit of the powder and just apply it on there.
all done. As you can see, it's a little bit, it's still 3D because of course you can't make your pimple if it's 3D in the first place to disappear and be flat. But yes, this is how the finished look is. So that is the end of my video. I hope this helped you guys. Thank you for watching, guys.